so it will have the existing table storage functionalities plus additional advanced features with help of cosmos db okay so the point that we need to understand is so people who are long back living long back with all the traditional storage services like of course containers yes we already saw we have data lake storage gen 1 gen 2 etc so now people are moving to data lake storage gen 2 because that has more advanced features that's why if you call about containers it's not the blob storage we recommend data lake storage gen 2 and when we talk about queue don't use queue now you can go and use event hub and when we talk about tables we never recommend table storage we recommend cosmos db for the newest features and the availability right so likewise if you talk about file share we never recommend file share there is something called uh, netapp files azure netapp files this is a third party application which is providing the file sharing capabilities in much more sophisticated way than the azure file storage but all these tools are premium tools when it comes to enterprise level applications that are developed by organizations if you are doing some training or if you are doing some proof of concept or if your organization don't want to spend much money then you don't need to use all these tools these are for the companies who can pay a lot of money because they are into bigger business roles like for example coca cola pepsi cola or you talk about any banking platform where the performance is critical not the finance not the access right it's all about the application performance then these tools will definitely help you to achieve all those goals right so that's why in today's world when we talk about storage we always talk about containers and that too the hierarchical namespace enabled which is gen2 we never will be into file share or queue queue storage or table storage because all these things are replaced with the newest tools with the latest features okay so that's why whenever it could be your exam or it could be in your real time experience if anybody asks you like which tool or which resource we should use for the table storage activity or in order to store a uh, lot of data in terms of table structure then we recommend cosmos db table api but if people recommend some event based or message based queue storage then don't recommend this recommend the event hub that can help you to solve the lot of hurdles when it comes to queue storage but if you ask file share still people can live with this there is no question about it but if you are, they are expecting a rich tool which has all the latest and greatest features then we recommend netapp files right still we can live with the file share whatever is available with this because it's all about sharing the files giving access to read write delete they can also live with this there is no question about about it but if you, they are looking for enterprise level support then that is the best tool right so that's why the point that we need to understand is things will change any day any moment the cloud comes with the latest and greatest features anytime so we should always stick to the updates right so for every tool there will be newer and newer features that are going to come up so we always have to understand what features are getting added to the azure in this case which we can get to know that using to using microsoft azure learn right whatever features that you are looking for you will always get to know using this documentation mm. yeah so if anybody have any questions feel free to ask i think we are good to go for today uh, if i start stopping now it may take a lot of time yeah so yeah yeah tina so
okay you load your hand okay that's fine all right yeah so tomorrow i'll try to cover the rest of the access control topic so try to copy the files from my storage to your storage if you are facing any difficulty we can also cover that because we need those file data for databricks as well as the upcoming classes okay all right so those who have any questions feel free to stay or those who are done maybe you can feel free to drop off thank you yeah yeah tina i saw you raise your hand please go ahead hello i think okay i forgot to unmute yeah I think now you should be able to talk. Oh, you beat me on your side. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. I'm, I've been uh, naggy. Maybe you miss me if I interrupt you in the middle of recording. No, but, no. But uh, yeah. net apps, the new topic that you just mentioned, mm -hmm. is that for all backups storage? Is that no, no, no. File sharing. Your... No, no. It's all about file storage. If you're trying to backup and for backup, you don't need to worry about that. You can go with the traditional file share our uh, traditional blob storage account for your backups okay i think i mix it up with dot net app something like for a file uh, for not backup for, no 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 not for, for backup it is for file share okay. okay okay uh yesterday i was trying to put uh the cosmo db in my end i was unable to do it i got error i keep trying it won't let me but i don't know maybe it's too late now for you or maybe i can log in early tomorrow or can you show me now? Yeah, I'm making you a presenter. Let me see like what is the problem you are seeing. So did you fix your mouse problem? Yeah, I did. Okay, nice. Yeah. Show me like how yeah. you are creating the Cosmos DB. Okay, where is it? Where am I going to go? Uh, create resource. Mm -hmm. uh, homes. Okay, you can also do that way. No need to worry. You can also do that way. Also, go ahead, whatever way. Great. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Third one. Third one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Create. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. You yes. Create this one. No, no, no. The first one. Yeah. That that is correct. That is correct. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Azure uh, use you. Uh, what was the name? I, uh, I gave it a name. You can give anything, you can go with storage. That is what I did, but you can go with any resource group because it's all about training. You can choose it. What, what was it? What was on your uh, storage so when I go to storage? Uh, Cosmos storage? No, no, storage. So if you see in the drop down, you can see the third one, which is storage. RG storage? Yes. That, yes. that resource group? Yes. Oh, okay. It has to be in the same resource group? No, no, it's not mandatory. You can Sorry. go with you can go with your own resource group. You can create a separate resource group as well. It's up to you, whatever you feel comfortable. Okay. You can create a resource group for Cosmos. That is also fine. Yeah. Uh... You will see the error I went to. I, I was running into. No problem. Let us see. Okay. Okay. Enter name. Mm -hmm. You I might can do need... the same. No, 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 no. You cannot do that because uh, the account name goes with a unique name across the globe. So you may need to give a oh. unique name. So and all the, the the name. Okay, the name should be company's name or my name or my resource group name. What's the real life? If you always talk about real life, then you may go with your organization standards. Most of the times what they do is they will include a, a organization name and then they okay. may include the project name. Right. So in your case, yeah, uppercase, it will not allow. It is the same. Oh, yeah, rule. You say that. Yes, yeah, yeah, it is the same rule for every resource. So you may go with your name to begin with. And then you may give it like a, a training 
so tina db203 training and then you may give today's date which is like uh, 8th of june 2022 something like that db3 db3 yeah db203 yeah whatever works for you as long as it is same uh Gosh, most right is that, this is the the uh, the co uh, storage right is, yes that's it cost that i think that is good so it, it allows yeah. Yeah. that's fine yeah. yeah okay let me make it fast so no 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 go. change the location in which location you are located right now us is the us what okay search for that type that's east. why no no type east yeah Okay. East to US two, or it has to be no, two. No, it will be East because US only. There is no two here. Yeah. So yeah, now no. uh, let's go to the next. Yeah, this is all going to be the same. We are not going to change it because we don't want to worry much about this. Or oh, yeah. you're going somewhere else. Click on next. No, I just wanted to close this on the side. Okay. All right. Next. Yeah. So this is all common. So don't worry. Review and create. Click on review and create. Yeah. So yes. Now you can click on create. That's it. Error is It won't. Oh, maybe I put west. That's why. Oh no. no, no. After this, no, I, no, I'm no. unable to see. It. Wait. You will see the error maybe unless. Can you close that McAfee? That's what I'm trying to do, but I can't find. Oh, okay. 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 Do I... At the top right corner, there is a cross. Okay. Seems like you have some problems with your machine. Hmm. Yeah, and it's antivirus software. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So give it a time. Let that complete. Yeah. Uh huh. Tina Kusman. After I did this yesterday, it didn't come. I didn't see it. Mm, wait a I second. can't find it. You okay, can. You should be able to find it. Uh, maybe you mm -hmm. were going to a different resource type. That's why you did not. <clears throat> but today, definitely, yeah, you right. can find it out. Definitely. Okay, I hope. It will take time. So no need to okay, panic. Uh, if it is failed, okay. then it will show you the status <laughs> here, whether that uh, creation is success or failure. So we definitely need to wait. Most of the SLA is five the minutes. First, so we need to the wait. Purpose at least of five the, okay, okay, thank you. Sorry, I interrupt you. The purpose of having Cosmo is just to reporting purpose or from one location to another location. Let's See, say Cosmos we have DB, Azure, right? Cosmos DB is mainly meant for not for storing, not for copy. It is mainly meant for an application which is very business critical where you should not see any delay in the application performance and you are maintaining the data from across the globe. That means it's the same application from US as well as from Europe and from Asia across the globe. If you are giving one application and you have users across the globe then if they are trying to access simultaneously and you are hosting that application using one single database there could be chances of failures there could be chances of performance issues that's why cosmos db is meant for applications which are business critical which requires performance and which is accessed by people across the globe like uh, like uh, uh, Amazon. You can think of Amazon, but uh, Amazon is using its own uh, storage platform. Yeah, as an example, you can think of Amazon. Example. Yeah, as an example, you can think of that. Yes, definitely. So to, to people trying to access. So the Cosmo DB is an mediator for the Amazon part or for the user part. Where is it? Is it a front storage? The back end data, storage. all the application data you will be using okay. Cosmos to store. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. You're clear. 
Yeah. All right. So now the deployment is success. Do. Go to close. Here they have given you right. Go to resource. Yeah. Click on the resource. go to resource. Okay. That's it. See so where is it then? Okay. What is it? What is it? There is it here. Yeah, I think I you... have it yesterday. How do I? How do I find if I have it already or not? In the top search bar, type Cosmos DB. COS, MOS. Yeah, Azure. Click on that Azure Cosmos DB, which is came in the search. Yeah. See, you created yeah, two. Have, you yes, created yes. yesterday one, and today oh. you created two. See, the reason is I was unable to. Okay, what else is now uh, the one uh, I, uh, uh, you fetching data or trying to get emails, those things I didn't understand. What tool do I have to install for that? And then I need to give you my email so you can uh, put me on your admin. Uh, okay, so you are trying to add me an as admin. an admin. Okay, so go to yeah. your. Uh, uh, Click on at the leftmost corner. You have those three dots, right? Three lines. Yes. So there you can see Azure Active Directory. At that bottom. Yes. Right. So here on the left side, you can you see Users tab? Yeah. There you go. So right now you have two users. One is Tehatina, and then another one is TIT. Right. So you need to yeah, add me also. Yeah, you need to add me also as a user.